Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to do a tutorial for the CJ Flower Blanket. The full pattern is on our website if you would like a written version. Um, I am using Peyton's Beehive Baby Sport. I used about four and a half skeins. These are the 3.5 ounce sizes and I was going to look to see, they are 359 yards per skein. I used about four and a half of them. It recommends an F hook, but I went ahead and I used a G, well, let's see, my G four millimeter hook. I think you could even go up a little bit more. Um, I felt like my tension was just a little bit tight, and I think you would see the flowers a little bit better if you did go up a size. Per per personal preference, but anyway. And then this is just a little ruffle border with a little pico edge along, and I'll show you how I do all that. So let's get started. Okay, so the blanket that I made is 34 inches wide and 34 inches tall. And so you wanna just make this base chain about 34 inches long, and you'll use any multiple of the number three. So I believe for the blanket that I use the number 156 for my base chain. But for today, let's just do a base chain of 18. Let's multiply the number three times six and let's make 18 chains. I think that'll give us enough to experiment around with. And let's make these chains fairly loose here at the bottom. Here's 18. Okay. Now we'll double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. Oops. Work a double crochet. And then chain three. One, two, three. And then in the base of this chain three, kind of that first um, chain that you made, let's yarn over, pull up a loop, and just pull through the first two loops and stop right there. Now in the chain where you worked that double crochet, let's yarn over and work kind of like the first half of a little cluster here. So just pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, and that's it, stop right there. And now you will skip two chains, one, two, work into this next one, and do the same thing. We're just going to yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So it's like we've put little mini clusters or double crochet two togethers in these last two spots. Now we have six loops on our hook and we'll yarn over and pull through all of them. Okay, so you kind of have this little bottom half of a little flower here. Now let's chain three. One, two, three. Now again, let's just work the first half of the flower and then how I like to think of it is this little chain three is one of, kind of counts as the first little half of the cluster because you only do one, one time do you pull through just the two. So those two are a pair. And then you're gonna come down to where your last stitch was worked, kind of in the base of those double crochets right there. And now make another pair. I'm just pulling through the first two loops. 
So now I've got four loops on my hook. Now skip two and let's finish it off with another pair here, little clusters, and then you'll pull through for all six, through all six loops. Okay, let's go again. One, two, three. Yarn over, insert your hook into what considered could be like the eye of the flower, the very center, and just pull through two. Just make the second one, the little chain acts as the first one. Now let's do that twice. Pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Skip two chains. Make your little clusters here. Boom. Pull through all six loops. One, two, three. It gets relaxing. Once you finally get this pattern down, it's, I found this to be really relaxing. Kind of took a minute though to under to just get the that I'm just working the pairs and the other stitches. So it's almost like it's a double crochet five together across three different spots. Here's the first spot and there's like one, two, three, and then the very last one, skip two, we're going to end in that very last chain. Make sure we still do two. Now to turn this is a little bit, you're really going to want to pay attention to this. Okay, so here we are. We have all of our little bottom halves of the flower. I want you to still chain three to tie that loop together, but we will work a full double crochet right into that eye. And don't turn it yet. I want you to work three more chains. So to finish the row, you chain three, you double crochet, you chain three again. Now you can turn your work. Yarn over and insert your hook. And as the, as the blanket grew, you can, technically the pattern called to, to um, work right into that base chain, which you can, but I found as I kept wanting to go a little bit faster, it, it didn't really matter if I just worked underneath that last double crochet stitch. So I'm gonna leave that up to you as to where you wanna work that first one. But essentially we're starting again. The, I want you to reach down here though for the second one. And then reach across and find that other eye from the row below. So I'm skipping across one, two, three chains here, finding that eye or the center of the flower, kind of where we worked those, the chain threes. I've got my six loops, yarn over and pull through. One, two, three. So this is the stitch I'm calling the eye, kind of that center stitch. Okay, so here we go. Essentially, our five double crochets. Here's the second spot where I'm going to enter my hook, right in the middle of that little flower. Then I'm gonna skip over and come over here. There we go. See how it just kind of made this cute little flower right there. Okay. One, two, three. Mm 
one, just now let's do two, do two more. And pull through all six. Okay, let's practice how we're going to end this row. One, two, three. Still do the same thing, except on this last one, let's go over here and we have to find the top of that last stitch, basically one, two, three. I skipped over, it's kind of one of those chains. One. There we go. I like getting underneath both of the loops of those turning chains. Here's our chain. There's our six. There we go. Now, here we go. Let's do the, the turning. So you want to close up that loop with your three chains. Let's work a complete double crochet. Just like that. Don't turn yet until after you make three more chains. Now turn your work and begin again. Like I say, it's real easy to just, I would do either. You can work your first stitch of that five double crochet together. I really don't know what to call it other than that. Look, I'm going to come down here to this eye down here. Work your pair there, work a pair here, and get your six together. And the sides just start growing on you. Your little flower blanket grows. Okay, so I'm going to continue to work a nice size swatch here. And it would be great if you did too. And then I'll show you how I did the little border. Okay, how did your little sample do? I just did a couple more rows here to kind of make it a little square, kind of is a little rectangle here. I just pulled through my final six loops and instead of chaining three, I'm just going to chain one. And now I'm going to work just a simple round of single crochet. Oh, but before I get to that, let me show you how I weave in the end. Just in case you're a beginner and you haven't seen how to weave in an end, I take a fairly large eye needle. It's got a blunt tip and I just take that end and basically all you have to do is weave it in and out of the, the stitches. Um, basically disguising the yarn. And I work this back and forth, oh, maybe five or six times. It totally depends on the type of yarn that I'm using. Uh, usually this type of acrylic sticks well on itself. And so just going back and forth five or six times is plenty. And then when I feel like I've done it enough times, I work under a lot of the stitches and then I'll pull through and I'll simply just snip that off with a pair of scissors. Just snip, snip it close to the fabric and you've got your end. There we go. Sorry, got my kid's scissors today. Um, you've got your end woven in and it pretty much, you can kind of pull that back and it gets hidden in there. So. Okay, now let's begin the border. So we just wanna work one round of single crochet as evenly spaced as possible. And now that's a little bit hard to do along the sides because it's we're just 
kind of unsure where to even insert your hook. So at first I started down here and I did start with two single crochets because I know I'll kind of want that to be my corner. And then I just insert my hook kind of underneath those posts. Enter one there. It generally worked out that I was working two um, single crochets around the post of a double crochet. And then I worked one into that, the eye. And then I did work um, two single crochets around the turning chains. So like I say, this is the hardest part is just not knowing where to insert your hook, but that's a general rule. Two around the double crochet. I did one into the eye and then two around the turning chains. I'm going to work three um, into each corner. This one is just, it's just not quite so clear where to work, but here we go. There's a corner. One, two, and three. Now along the bottom, I just worked kind of in between the little petals. I guess you could say our little clusters and into the eye. And I would always go back on the bigger, but you know, once you do your real big blanket, if it's, if it's pulling too tight, add a few more stitches in there. You just want this as even as possible. Here's a corner. One, two, and three. And let's work back up that other side with the same general rule. Oops, my yarn split on me just a little bit. There we go. Okay, here I am to the starting corner where I had worked the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with my third to make the corner. And I'm not going to join the rounds or anything. I'm simply going to begin working into the back loop of those um, single crochets right there. And I will work just two at the first. We'll come back around at the end and put that third one there if it's even needed. Sometimes this corner doesn't need that extra stitch. All right, so three rounds in the exact same direction of back loop single crochet. Gives you a pretty little line around the 
before we get to that ruffle border. And make sure that you still work three uh, single crochets into the middle stitch. So here's one, here's our middle one. I'm going to work three single crochets in here just to help us get around the corner. Okay, I've worked all around my little sample here and I'm back to that very first starting um, single crochet. So I'll go ahead and work my other round. I don't have to join or anything. I just continue around. And the first one didn't exactly look like it's lined up in the corner. I like this one better. So I'm choosing that one to be my corner. And I'll now I'll work three into it. So you kind of just keep it, keep it flexible. Since we're not joining and making specific joins and turning. So I'll work this one more round and then we will start in on a round of double crochets to, um, to make the ruffles. Okay, we have our little three rounds of single crochet here. And I just worked right up until I can tell that this was the first stitch of the next round. And I'm just going to begin right away with double crochets. And I'll just put three right into the corner. At the first, we'll still need three in the corners. And now going around, you'll need two double crochets per stitch. This is what creates the little ruffle. So I'm working two double crochets. Still just into the back loop there. And you'll see that it'll kind of give us a little ruffle. So work those around and be sure and still work three into the corner. Okay, here's what my little my little ruffles look like. Just working two into each stitch. So here I am. Here's my first double crochet of the round. Kind of looks like that. Oh, let me work my second one right there into that stitch. And now I'm going to do a round of kind of a little pico stitch and I am going to work underneath both lips, both loops. So I'm going to single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, single crochet into the next stitch. So kind of just finished off these ruffles with just a little bit more, I don't know what you want to, uh, I don't know, they just looked more finished to me if I added just a little bit more on the the end. They looked more ruffly. Is that a word? <laughs> so that's that's what I started doing. Let me show you on the original blanket and let me show you what the other side looks like. So either side, I think, looks really cute. Oh, this was such a pretty blanket to make and so much fun. I really enjoyed making this. So here it is again, all in white. There's my little flowers, so cute. So here's that little edge around the top of those um, double crochets. 
So it just kind of added just a little bit more. So when you come around, just slip stitch to the last stitch and you're good to go. Weave in those ends and you're, you're good. So like I say, the full pattern will be on daisyfarmcrafts.com. Um, we'll uh, have a link for you down in the descriptions if you're only seeing this on YouTube. And we just thank you so much for coming and following us and being interested in what we're making. And we are just so happy to share the pattern for what we're doing. So anyway, you have a good day.